Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make a charcuterie board. They're cute and fun to put together, so let's get started with the video. First, you're going to want to pick out all the items that you want on your charcuterie board. This includes cheeses, crackers, fruits, nuts, and anything else you want. After you have your items, cut your cheeses so you can place them on your board. The two cheeses I decided to cut up into squares were my sharp cheddar cheese and my Havati. You can make a cheese board with at least two to three cheeses, but usually they'll have like four to five. When you do pick your cheeses, try to pick ones that are different from each other. You should also try to make sure that you have hard cheeses and soft spreadable cheeses. Next I'm going to cut the Fontina cheese. First, I cut off the wax. Then I began cutting the cheese into thin slices. Cutting your cheeses in different ways is good for presentation. It also makes it very convenient when you're eating. The next slice I cut, I placed on the opposite direction of the other slice, and I repeated this process, making a pattern. This is a good way to present and cut your cheese if it's shaped like a triangle. When you finish cutting your cheese, you can set it to the side until you're ready to place it on your board. Next, I have some brie, which I decided to leave whole except for a few slices. Next, we're going to prepare our meats. The first meat we're going to prepare is salami, which we're going to turn into a rose. Place three pieces of salami on a shot glass. Then keep layering your salami over the edge of the shot glass. Make sure you're not overlapping your salami on the same area as your previous layer. When you flip your shot glass over, it should look like a rose. Oh my god, I did it! Cool, salami rose! Next I have some capicola, which I'm just going to roll each piece and stack on top of each other. Capicola is a thin slice of dried pork. By the way, I got my meats in a variety pack, which I totally recommend you do because it's way cheaper than buying them individually. That way, if you get the variety pack, you have a variety of meats to put on your board. And now I'm going to take my prosciutto and I'm just going to fold each piece. Prosciutto is thinly sliced dried cured ham. The slices were so thin that I couldn't completely take them all apart, but I folded them to make a sort of ruffled look. When you finish preparing your meats, set them to the side. Next, we can move on to our fruits. You can use whichever fruits you want, whichever is your favorite. I am going to cut up an apple. The apple was the only one that I had to cut up, and I cut it up into thin slices. The rest of the fruit that I got, I was just going to clean and place on the board. Now we're just going to prepare our spreads by placing them inside a small dish. The two spreads I got were strawberry and fig. Now that you have all your items prepared, you can go ahead and assemble your charcuterie board.
try to place anything that might roll off your board in the center. The nuts I added to my board were pecans and walnuts. You can also add almonds, or any kind of nut that you really like. I added goat cheese as one of my spreadable cheeses. You can also use ricotta cheese or cream cheese. I thought the brie would be a soft spreadable cheese as well, but I guess I got the wrong kind. I also added some honey onto my honey goat cheese, which by the way tasted really good. I added some chocolate cookies to add something sweet to the charcuterie board. You could also add just regular chocolate or like chocolate pretzels. And this is the finished result. I'm really happy with the outcome. It looks so fancy, which is totally what I was going for. The whole reason I made the charcuterie board was because I really wanted to make that salami rose and it was totally worth it because that salami rose looks awesome. Also, the combination of foods was really good. I love Fontina with apples. The grapes tasted great together. Almonds, pecans, it was all just delicious. Oh, and the honey goat cheese with the crackers tasted amazing. I'm seriously thinking about making another one, but like breakfast theme because this was so much fun to make. When you're making your charcuterie board, remember just to add your favorite items and don't forget to have fun with it. By the way, these cookies are the best. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Even some suggestions as to other items that you can place on your charcuterie board. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! I decided to practice making chocolate covered strawberries and... These are the things I learned that I think really helped me improve. Stick a toothpick inside your strawberry to help you hold it when you're dipping it in chocolate. Drizzle chocolate on your strawberries over the bowl with your remaining chocolate so you don't waste any. Use the same color chocolate as your sprinkles so they both blend in together and look way cleaner and nicer. Also, it looks very glittery and pretty. It just looks nicer. Use the same color. I've said this before, but it's way better to pipe your chocolate into your letters so it comes out cleaner. Using a piping bag ensures that the chocolate gets into all the nooks and crannies of your mold.
Okay, so this one came out way, way better than the Valentine's one I made previously. So much cleaner and nicer. I think I might do one, another one next month and film it just because I love making these and getting practice in. It just looks so, so pretty. I can't get over how pretty it looks. I'm totally doing this again. I love making these. But seriously, this is totally the end of the video. Okay, bye.